organization is leading the fight to treat and cure ALS through global research and nationwide advocacy, while also empowering people with Lou Gehrig's disease and their families to live fuller lives by providing them with compassionate care and support. One such person within the ALS organization is Alyssa Brownlee. There are facts that you should know about ALS that could change one's life. Statistical average is nine months to diagnose. Wow. And then ALS has no cause and no cure. ALS occurs throughout the world with no racial, ethnic, or socioeconomic boundaries. ALS can strike anyone. Assistive technology is any device, whether commercially available or modified, that will help a person with a disability do something that they could not normally do. There can be significant costs for medical care, equipment, and home health caregiving later in the disease. It is important to be knowledgeable about your health plan. Our goal as assistive technology practitioners and those that do assistive technology, which would be speech therapists or occupational therapists, we ask the individual with the disability, what is it that you want to do? Right. If they want to be able to communicate and get on the internet and send an email, then we know what type of device we're looking for. And then we take in all kinds of different factors. Are they walking? Um, what is their cognitive status? How is their vision? Okay. Right? So, so really, it's a whole assessment process. Importantly, there are significant devices and therapies that can manage the symptoms of ALS that help people maintain as much independence as possible and prolong survival. Somebody with ALS comes to us, they don't necessarily need all the bells and whistles on those apps unless there's a, a secondary learning problem or language disability. So okay. you know, we have apps that are free that can be downloaded um, and then ones that are like $2. Right. So you don't need to spend a lot of money to make a commercially available product into a communication device for an individual with a disability. Viewers who are watching, uh -huh. they want to know, how can I get training to better help um, the patient? If they're in the U.S., I always encourage people to contact your local ALS association. Almost every state has an ALS association that helps people within the state or like my local association, we cover three states. Right. So you could certainly start with your local ALS association if the person has ALS. Right. It is important to remember that ALS is a quite variable disease. No two people will have the same journey or experiences. Mm -hmm.